Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising Weekly Tarot Reading April 8th to uh, April 14th, uh, 2019 And while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that as a general reading uh, is going to relate to different things and it's going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Aquarius <clears throat> So for that reason, uh, yeah, the reading is going to resonate uh, in a different way. But if you do want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, uh, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private readings, for the private co-readings. So uh, the first card, which is marking the Aquarius is topic of the week. We do have the lover's card, followed by the second one, which is the negative approach to the situation that Aquarius could make. That is going to be the um, page of swords, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach to the situation. That is going to be the, the Empress. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, that will be the Ace of Wands. So once again, uh, the Lover's card, followed by the uh, Page of Swords. After that, what we do have, this is going to be the Empress. And the last card that we do have, that is going to be the um, <clears throat> Ace of Wands. So Aquarius, it does look like that quite of a good week is away, is um, in front of you, lovers. Well, needless to say that the lovers could represent flirting, love, you know, and a very good teamwork on the uh, on the emotional side of the spectrum. The lovers as well represents that everything falls into its place, you know, and current predicaments as well are resolving literally on their own accord. So you can expect throughout this week, not that just you are going to have a good time with people and also a potential to get associated yourself with someone on a uh, emotional level and on a level of flirting as well, you know, and kind of like creating a relationship, but also you're going to experience that big harmony around you where, you know, things are literally solving themselves on their own accords. The lovers as well, it's uh, associated with choice. This, this was the name of the card before it actually was named the lovers. It was the choice. And when we talk about decision making uh, marked by the lovers cards with every major arcana, that is, you need to know that there is no right or wrong choice and the decision <clears throat> which is defined by the lovers, it does relate to what you want against what you have to, okay? So let's give you an example of it. Let's say you have two suitors, all right? One of them is very handsome. The other one could offer you a very stable future. So you may want to be with the handsome one, which is offering you unstable future, but what you have to do, you know, is going with the uh, with the not that handsome one who can secure your future. So there is there is no right or wrong choice here. It's just you know you have to bear the consequences of the decision that you haven't made. So that being said, it will be that decision should be made entirely based on your personal preferences. If you do want to have just fun, you know, you go with a handsome one. If you want to establish marriage and, and these kind of stuff, you know, long term relationship, you go with the one with the secured future. The accompanied card here that is going to be uh, the King of Pentacles. So uh, this formation, it is a uh, active uh, enemies and uh, what basically this card points to is that you have to be more on the giving side. So you gotta be the initiative here, especially if we're talking about flirting and emotional connection, you definitely gotta answer to those signals which the other person is, um, is addressing you with. 
in case you know we're talking about uh, we're talking about flirting or if things are starting to fall into their places which they are you also got to take the initiative you know and develop the situation even further now what we are talking about here it is a more like my these people man it's just it is because uh my place is on the ground floor and when people pass by here it is just ridiculous uh, anyway so uh you should not be sedated this is what i'm trying to say but really jump into action throughout this week to take full advantage you know of this harmony which is uh, which is given to you uh locking yourself into your place like i'm doing you know because i like to spend time in my place uh it's not going to give best results. So go out, associate yourself with people, you know, take initiation into projects at career and so on and so forth. But in generally, this week for you, Aquarius, is, is going to be a, a fantastic week where you can truly, uh, like I said, resolve a lot of your issues and as well achieve harmony in relationships and as well into career endeavors and so on and so forth so what you should not do throughout the week here that is the page of swords and the only thing that this card points is that uh, well actually it points to a couple of things the first one is that you should not think that you can outsmart the situation itself or you know to get more than you than actually can be extracted from it so that being said um how can i place it you know don't play slinky don't play sneaky don't play surreptitiously according to the situation if i have to give you if i have to follow that example of two guys you know um uh, once you make your choice you gotta make your choice obvious to both of them you know instead of you know dating with the other with 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 both of them on the same level you know if you cho choose the one which is handsome you should stop dating with uh, the one that can present you with a, a stable future and same goes vice versa you know it's it's just once you make up your choice don't think that you can sit on two uh, on two chairs it is an expression into our country we say when one sits on two t when, on two chairs or on top of two ch of two chairs it is likely that one is going to find himself on the ground further uh, a little bit further into the future so you just make up your mind and move along with it additionally to that with the um uh, with the page of swords uh this is a sign that you do have all that you need in order to achieve harmony either into your relationship life you know or into your career life for that matter and uh, waiting for a new source of help it is likely to just deprive you from taking advantage of the uh, so well placed circumstances right now which are going to allow you once again to resolve a lot of your issues the accompanied card that is going to be the um the hierophant and the formation here it is active enemies once again so uh <clears throat> the more the hierophant uh it manifested the the little the page of swords takes place so uh with this formation uh, you are asked to be very aware of where your beliefs lie all right and as well how can i place it what is substantial for you guys uh to, to move on forward and to feel yourself uh fulfilled from life in general but uh when we do have this formation it is very important to be honest um honest with those that you don't want around yourself with those that you do want around yourself and uh if you do face any difficulties um, expressing yourself as well you have to try to aim those elaborative conversations uh with these people but these cards here are a sign that if you do face any predicaments plights or you're facing a wall or whatever you know throughout the week the solution is with already uh, is with is within the framework of already existing patterns and convictions and you don't need to seek you know additional circumstances and it is a very simple solution you don't like someone you simply say it you know you you like someone you simply say it you want to be in that project you simply say it it's just you gotta make up your mind and you gotta make the others or everybody that it is around you aware of what your aims are and what you do want for yourself and uh, you know where you want to incorporate yourself as well 
So um, the next card, which is the positive approach to all the situation, that is going to be the Empress. So the Empress refers to great portion of maturity and as well relates to decision making. And it does relate to detaching from its um uh, from the situation which require uh, decisive actions or decision to be made, so one can uh, be alone with oneself to find out what is substantial for oneself, if that makes sense. Therefore, before you decide, for example, which person you will go um, along with from those couple of suitors, it will be best to stop dating with either of them for let's say a couple of days just so you can collect your thoughts you know and make up your mind in a more mature level but the empress as well it does relates to long long-term planning so whatever decision you are to make throughout the week which is going to um improve the harmony out there and also is going to allow you to solve a lot of your issues or a lot of plights that you are facing uh Based on that, you should start making a, a long term plans and goals for your distant future. Taking, you know, you associate yourself with one of these guys, you have to start thinking about how you are, how compatible you are uh, family wise, you know, of, of making family and as well what you can do in order to improve the relationship itself and so on and so forth. Additionally to that, um, I am just feel compelled to say it, the Empress is very potent card for those who are doing artwork. Painters, uh, writers, uh, you know, um, musicians as well and so on and so forth. And uh, when we are following that narrative, Maybe what you need is an idea to push your product forward. It is already residing in your mind. It's just you have to make up your mind, okay? You don't need any additional, like I said, inspiration, a new source of help here, but everything is in the framework of, all, of your already existing means. And the only thing that you need with the Empress is just a little bit of detachment from it, you know? Just stop writing your book. Go out and, and spend time with friends or, or, or attend to different enterprises and the insight is gonna hit you spontaneously the accompanied card here that is going to be the nine of swords so the formation is passive enemies that we do have and it looks like that you are to overcome as well a big fears of yourself and the, this involves fears of failure so the way I take it so far from the uh, from these cards is that maybe you thought that you were in a very bad spot in your life and maybe that was true at the start of the week but suddenly you know the circumstances changes which are entirely out of your control and those new circumstances are giving you the means necessary in order for you to improve your life drastically and to see that there is nothing scary anymore in the situation either into your marriage or either into your career you know guys or into your friendship circle and so on and so forth uh, <clears throat> also you are to find out as the uh, empress is very mature card and is also very prone to take on responsibility you are to see that there is nothing wrong with that and that there is nothing scary of you taking those responsibility and uh, those responsibilities and just on the contrary it does make you more reliable person in the eyes of others which are depending on you and the last card should you follow all that you know uh that will be the ace of wands so we do what we do have here it is a brand new gaining for enterprises that emerges from this new world order should i say it that way because the things are falling into place which form harmony which form a, a new world order for you and a new gaining for enterprise emerges from that which could offer for many of you aquariuses new beginning as well, new relationship, new new project, a job, new career, and so on and so forth. Uh, the thing with the Ace of uh, Wands is that this new gaining for enterprise is going to provoke a, a lot of creative chaos around you. So that should not scare you at all, as we saw with the, for, with the third card and its catalyst. You should not be scared, guys, from taking initiative and from deciding what you want for, for yourself as well. And you need to allow your... Uh, yourself to develop your skills your knowledge or your passion as well if we're talking about uh relationships this card points that at the end of the week you are to face a and i will classify it as a new beginning which uh, will 
be met with a hyperactivity or rather like a activity that you will very much enjoy and uh, if that card is related for a career endeavors it is likely that you're gonna find out that you are very good into something you have no idea you can um, you can kind of like perform into the accompanied card that is going to be the queen of uh, the king of wands excuse me so the formation here it is a uh, active supporters so it seems that you will be able to transform your ideas additionally into a, a very very powerful drive seeing the positivity into them and you are going to have that um, positive attitude toward the future in general but these cards are also a, a big sign that you are going to enjoy life very much you're going to enjoy going at work, you're going to enjoy spending time with this guy or a girl, you are going to enjoy spending time with your friends and so on and so forth. You are to face whatever this new beginning offers to you or this new gain gaining for enterprise with huge a portion of sincerity here and determination to make a big thing happen from it because it can happen from it. I mean, a big thing can happen from it. But everything starts with the decision what you wanna do. Should you go for what you have to or should you go for what you want to? You can't have everything. And this is inscribed here in the Page of Swords. You can't outsmart the situation where you end up on two chairs and finally ending at the ground, okay? You gotta decide which path you are going to take Take your time, guys, to make that decision because it's the, probably the most important decision for you in the days to come, in the near day, days to come, I'm sorry. And once you make up your mind, do not regret about it because it's going to be, either way, is going to be a gaining for one. It's just, like I said, you cannot have it all. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading uh, April 8th to April 14th, 2019 Aquarius and this reading as general one is going to, re to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Aquarius. But should you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, <clears throat> that is a, a subject of a, a private reading. Um, and for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Right, signing up now. See you next time. Bye.